the unique factors that impact it, and tailored interventions accordingly. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are, pumping, we are pumping in resources to the 10 counties of West Pokot, Turkana, Samburu, Isiolo, Marsabit, Tanariva, Lamu, Garissa, Wajia, and Mandera to ignite, stimulate, and sustain socioeconomic projects of building resilience in the face of adversity foiled mostly by climate change. Let me thank the World Bank for their unwavering support and commitment to this mission. With an investment of 2.3 billion US dollars since the launch of this initiative in 2018, the focus has remained on funding crucial and high impact projects in transport, agriculture, water, health, education, energy sectors, social protection, and the welfare of refugees and host communities. The conception and implementation of these projects aligns with the focus of the Lutu administration, which was elected on the promise of improving the lives of the people at the bottom of the socio-economic pyramid. I'm therefore pleased to chair this consultative forum as we collectively evaluate the progress and review performance of development programs being implemented under this initiative. It is part of monitoring process of ensuring that we are on course to meeting the ultimate goal of enabling and target communities contribute to development of our nation. As the senior ranks of government, we are here to review and the status of our investment and reach the discussions on emerging concerns and receive inclusive insights in our pursuit to ensure that we leave no one behind in the Kenya we want and desire. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this conversation is very important as we consolidate development plans of the national government, counties, and their locations under other elected leaders. We are not only avoiding replication, but also strengthening our approaches for catalyzed implementation of the projects. The north and northeastern frontier counties have been left behind for far too long. We focus on them mostly during drought and deluge disasters. Over the last two years, my office has been coordinating emergency responses to drought and El Nino rains, causing immense suffering and large-scale humanitarian crisis. It is not sustainable to mobilize resources for relief food, clean and safe water supplies, cash handouts, among other interventions, season after season. Such interventions are ad hoc and short-lived. We also, as a nation, dent our pride that over 60 years of, with over 60 years of independence, that socioeconomic independence in this region is still a mirage. With climate change, the cycle of asking for help is likely to persist unless we make and implement solid, systematic, and resolute decisions through strong partnerships. We have a duty and responsibility to dignify your people even when disaster strikes through lasting solutions. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is why our administration has given priority to devolution. Besides seeking and strengthening strategic partnership with the national and international actors in building better communities as underpinned by the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, the Kenya's Vision 2030, Agenda 2030 of the United Nations, and Agenda 2063 of the African Union. Why are some of these key interventions under the NEDI architecture? In supply, A, in supply of more safe water for domestic and commercial use, we are activating the crop and livestock subsectors in these vast virgin lands. Two, in quality primary and secondary education, we are empowering the community into self-reliance not only for today, but for posterity. Three, in, in enhancing solar power, we are igniting the economic potential of the region by sparking and sparring the Juakari sector and expanding employment opportunities. Four, through increased road networks, we are opening up the region to trade between and among the counties. These and other climate action-based initiatives will lead us to the desired change. 
NED programs are rising to the occasion, and we have an opportunity to work with the World Bank and other partners in long-term transforma transformative initiatives of propelling the NED counties into the next socio-economic power cells of our country. However, ladies and gentlemen, we must not only be realistic, but also reflect on this gracious support. The scripture in, Gal in Galatians chapter 6 tells us to bear one another's burdens and thereby fulfill the law of Christ. But each one must examine his own work, for each one will bear his own load. The support of the World Bank and other development partners will not be available forever. Donor funding is shrinking due to, among other reasons, geopolitics and shifts in global priorities. I take this opportunity to ask our grassroots, grassroots leaders to align and complement their development projects in what is and has already been supported. It is our collective responsibility to better the lives of our people. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today we will receive real-time updates on the status of the project from national project coordinators alongside input from the World Bank, NED team on the implementation and coordination of projects. I wish to invite input from leaders present regarding implementation of these projects in your counties and constituencies. We intend to use this meeting to also agree on those projects that are ready for commissioning, groundbreaking or inspection. By organizing public events around them, we shall assist to fast track unlocking of any bottlenecks and secure timelines for their completion. On this note, I intend to have these high-level consultations convened biannually or even more frequently when urgent matters arise. Focusing on continuous accountability will create a more transparent and accountable outcome, benefiting from the shared learning and experience that can only be de derived through such oversight. I will chair this session alongside the chair of the Frontier Counties Development Council. Consequently, we shall receive an overview of the NED coordination framework and an update on the status of NED projects supported by the project implementation units through their respective principal secretaries. Principal secretaries from various ministries with the support of the World Bank team will address questions from leaders. I look forward to fruitful deliberations and successful outcome. Asatensana.